welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So, um, you've got the first card about being. So you're doing a lot of self-reflection over there, looking at yourself, looking at your skills very, very carefully and maybe thinking of making some changes as well. Um, you might have been overindulging over there, so maybe overspending and this you need to curb. Uh, so, you know, spending on the wrong things, doing maybe things, uh, having habits that, you know, are, are eating away at your finances. So it's very important for you to bring that into check, really. You've got the uh, mind card over here. So whatever job you're doing is re requiring a lot of mental effort over there. Uh, you know, a lot of skills, a lot of cunning. Uh, and you're very, very focused on that particular aspect of your uh, yourself. So, um, you know... Um, taking a stand uh, for what you believe in, but also using your mind a lot in whatever you're doing. So you're doing a lot of thinking, uh, a lot of mental work. So in the past, you've got the mystery card. So this is about, uh, you know, learning a lot. Uh, you can see there's a lot of books in the background. You've got Albert Einstein and his cat there. So doing a lot of uh, work, uh, but doing a lot of study as well. And, you know, whatever... Uh, issues that you have been dealing with, uh, you know, you're getting over it. It seems like you shed a lot of tears. They've got pain purifies, uh, and this is about overcoming difficult situations and coming out uh, better for it. So uh, they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and it seems like you have become much, much stronger after going through quite a difficult situation. So now you're going through this period where you're doing a lot of self-reflection and deciding uh, what it is you really want out of life. Um, and you've got to crystallize yourself. So you're coming into your own over there. This is going to the future and coming out pretty victorious. You're standing up for yourself. You're speaking your truth. And, you know, you're showing the world you are very, very capable over there with that crystallize yourself. So like I said, any kind of habits that you may be having, this is mechanical habits. Uh, this man is smoking, so you do need to give that up and uh, focus back on your work again. Focus on yourself. Look, at, look after your health, really. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the Black Cat's Tarot for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Cups, and this is about the ending of very, very difficult situations. If you were involved in a partnership, this might mean that that's the end of that partnership. It looks like you're letting go of all those people that caused a lot of grief in your life, and you are moving on, you know, flying away, breaking up those relationships, or, uh, you know, um, severing ties with uh, old acquaintances. Uh, you know, you could have been in an old job situation, and you're moving on from it. So people that you may have known for years, uh, you are breaking off, uh, you know, that relationship with them and you are moving on with that ten of cups you have ended that cycle with them uh, the difficulties or the problems are now over and you're now going to start something fresh um, you know start um, a new cycle in your life really so the end of old uh, emotional baggage really and moving on from that so you've got the death card over there so you've got the ten of cups over there that is showing that you know you are ending that particular situation ending off uh, you know if there was a job that you were involved in you have finished with it, if there was learning that you were involved in as well, which because Cups always speaks about education, it seems like you know you're finished with that cycle and you're moving on. You've got the death card as well, so this is about endings of cycles as well. So this is about uh, severing ties. You know, you may have completed study, you may have completed training, and you are now moving off on your own. Uh, pathway on your own direction. You've got the Hierophant over here. So, you know, you may be taking on a role as being a teacher or a mentor, um, or, uh, you know, you might even, um, like I said, you've got the death card sitting next to the Hierophant. So this might have been the end of your learning cycle. Uh, so whatever training you have, it's now finished and you are now moving on from that. You definitely have got a lot more uh, knowledge there. So uh, that uh, phase is now over. You've got the here and sorry the empress rather 
And so this is about, uh, this is the car that is ruled by Venus. So, you know, you're getting, coming into your own. Uh, whatever you're working for is going to be producing a, a lot more abundance. And, you know, you're taking control, taking authority. You have a lot of expectations. You have a lot of plans in your head. Uh, and, you know, you have want to achieve this. You want to achieve that life of luxury. So it seems like you've been working towards that. And working pretty hard. So your focus has been on money and achieving that life. Uh, but, you know, it's slow going. The pickings are pretty slim over here. You can see there's not a lot of abundance, but you're managing to save some money. This person's riding a donkey, so they're working pretty hard. You've got an idea about what you want to do, but it's not quite clear. It hasn't come into focus just yet. And there's still a lot of luck going on around you. But, you know, there's some grass. So there's some prosperity that is coming in. So you're earning a little bit of money, but maybe not as much as you would like. You are getting your balance back with the temperance card, trying to use all your skills uh, in your job. So whatever you've learned, you are applying it. You can see her pouring into that cup over there. And, you know, things are starting to settle down for you. You're getting a little bit of satisfaction, a little bit of contentment. Now, going into the future, you've got uh, the Ace of Rods, so a new project will be coming in for you. There might be somebody there that gives you a little bit of advice, a little bit of a heads up on how to get things done. But you're definitely starting something brand new. And it might involve, you know, a lot of artistry on your part. So you're starting to paint your own picture. Uh, you are uh, the person that is now taking control of your life and you are starting something brand new. You are setting uh, the scene. You are taking that control back. You've got the Two of Cups over here. So there could be a partnership that comes in for you there. Uh, with the Two of Cups, something good. Uh, you know, maybe uh, somebody giving you a lot of advice that is very, very constructive as well and getting you moving uh, on your path. So something that's also going to be very, very fulfilling for you as far as the work front goes. This could also be that, you know, learning a lot from somebody. So maybe somebody taking you under their wing and training you up as well. Now you've got uh, the um, page of um, uh, rods over here. <laughs> And this is about uh, uh, information or uh, news coming in about a new job. And this might be about networking. You can see there's a lot of scrolls coming in. So a lot of information coming from, from uh, overseas, uh, contacts. So this is dealing with a lot of people, giving out a lot of information and also receiving a lot of information, a lot of news, a lot of communication coming in over there. So you might be getting some job offers over there or you might be, you know, um, a lot of job offers coming in for you and it seems to come in all of a sudden uh, and it looks it's like it's from somebody, uh, some, you know, people overseas. So you might be doing a lot of work of the internet, that coming in for you there. So with the Ten of Rods, you want the difficulties to be over and you want to, uh, you know, start afresh. Uh, this is in your hopes and fears. So you want all this hard work now to pay off, uh, you know, because you've been putting in a lot, a lot of effort. So you're hoping for some success to come in from all that effort you've been putting in. So the final outcome, um, you've got uh, the Queen of, uh, or rather, this is the King of uh, Coins over there. Um, yeah, and this is the um, High Priestess and the Eight of Cups. So the Queen of Coin, uh, the King of Coins, talking about uh, you know finance, money is coming in. So there might be a new job offer, uh, th there might be a promotion coming in, but it's certainly going to rope in a lot of money. You've got a lot of money sitting over there next to the throne, uh, and you know there's a lot of um, wheat, a lot of harvest coming out. So you are going to benefit whatever work you've been putting in uh, with this Ten of Rods. Um, it looks like, uh, you know, it's going to give you a good, handsome payoff as far as finances go. If you're getting a new job, if this is a new job offer that comes in, it's going to be paying off really well and giving you some kind of authority position over there. So this is the money card, and this is definitely your card. So this is a lot of finance coming uh, your way, putting you back in charge um, and also bringing in a lot of money there, a lot of abundance. You've got the High Priestess card over here. So this is also about, you know, starting brand new you've got that uh, waiting for things to come into your hand you've got the keys in your hand as well over there and this is about whatever you're doing at the moment keep all your plans to yourself um, and uh, you know make plans but keep all your plans to yourself this could also be about learning uh, further learning as well with that um, a high priestess so this is about new information and knowledge coming your way there but make sure uh, that you keep all your uh, you know sensitive information to yourself don't go around telling people uh, what you you know what you want out of life because you know there could be sabotage that happens 
uh, you've got the Eight of Cups over here. So, you know, you're moving away from, uh, if you're, you know, in a difficult job situation, it looks like you're going to be moving on on from it. Uh, you know, you're taking your skills and you're going uh, your own route. So you're following your own path over there, leaving behind, uh, you know, maybe the tried and tested and going off on your own path into the great unknown. Uh, so you're starting something brand new and it's something that has not been done before. Uh, and you're going to be bringing the light into that. So you're leaving uh, what is known and going into the unknown, but also, um, you know, uh, making, uh, blazing a trail really for something brand new, something very different as well. And it might be, you know, uh, you do need to rely on your own gut instincts and your own intuition and your own skills. Uh, and you are going to be starting something brand new over there. So really, you know, this card, the Eight of Cups, it's almost like, you're leaving behind the tried and tested and established, starting your own pathway, taking your skills, but going to a bright new sunrise and, you know, starting on a fresh blank canvas over there. So whatever you're bringing out is going to be brand new, something different, and it's very unique to you as well. And it's going to open the doors for a lot of communication, maybe even a lot of travel coming in over there uh, with that page of rods. Uh, you know, maybe even some travel overseas with that two of cups, but definitely a lot of work uh, learning as well coming in as well so this is some uh, uh, cards from the fairy tale you've got the nine of winter so you're still pretty stressed out about things unfounded fear focusing on the worst case scenarios and allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem so you know you are still not sleeping nights still worried about what is going to happen how you're going to make ends meet uh, and you know this is me being overstressed you do need to wait uh, it looks like things will come in and change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, a temporary pause in action. So whatever you have, whatever skills you have, is pretty unique. You're very enlightened. Uh, you've learned a lot, but you need to see things from a very different perspective. Uh, look at it. Look at the big picture. So stand back, look at the big picture. Uh, there might be something you need to, you know, give up, uh, you know, change the way you're looking at things. Certain values need to change, uh, and you need to get that balance back again uh, with this hangman card. So just wait. Uh, though things don't seem to be moving, they will start moving. And then eventually you've got the Nine of Summer, which is the Nine of Cups, which is wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time in life. So it looks like you're going to get everything that you want, with a little bit of help, it seems, but, you know, getting everything you want. Um, and wishes being fulfilled. So an excellent card to end the reading. I'm very thrilled about that. Um, and um, it looks like, you know, just wait a little bit. So even though things don't seem to be, um, you know, going pretty fast, and this is stressing you out a little bit, just hang in there. Wishes will be fulfilled. And you are going to be blazing a trail for something brand new there. So, uh, you know, um, all is, is going uh, according to the plan, I, I think. Uh, and, you know, starting off something brand new. So just hang in there. Just hang in there. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now.